guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be making a Dollar Tree outdoor lantern. You can stain this to make it more durable outside, but of course you wouldn't want to leave it outside, it could get moldy. Um, but this basically took less than 30 minutes and it cost about $5, give or take however um, much supplies you already have. Um, so anyway, we're going to start out with this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. You just need one packet of that. And depending on what light source you want, whether it's a candle, you'll need a candle holder and a candle. And then, um, or if you want to do it with this lantern, which these are really good lanterns from Dollar Tree, um, you'll need the lantern and some batteries. And it takes three batteries, so that's perfect. You'll need two boxes of the mini Jenga pieces. You'll need a package of their wooden dowels and some scissors or a serrated knife to be able to cut these. You'll need their dupe for E6000, their like strong adhesive stuff, and a glue gun. And you'll just want to start by going around the lantern, super simple, in a sort of like hexagonal shape, I guess. Um, and just touch the corners together and then once you've done that first row, you'll go behind and do a second row where you'll be putting them the opposite direction. You can see how I'm doing that here. And then you'll want to take some E6000, just a little bit will do it. And then um, on top of the E6000, you want to put some hot glue. That will make it really, really stay together really well. Make sure when you're putting the glue on there, you don't put too much of either the hot glue or the E6000 because that can really make it squish out the sides and that's just not a cute look at all. Now you can go up as far as you want to with these. Um, it takes about 15 rows of those blocks to be able to cover the lantern totally. But if you're doing a candle, you can make it smaller or whatever your preference is. These lanterns are so bright. They shine right through the blocks. It's amazing and they will make a pretty pattern on the walls at night when it gets dark. These are just so pretty for just a dollar. That's insane. I've been wanting outdoor patio lamps for a while, but they're so expensive. I just figured I'd make them myself. And then as soon as I saw these lights at Dollar Tree, I was like, you know what? This is the perfect DIY. So anyway, these handles get in the way, so you just want to pop them off. They're super easy to pop off. And then take a piece of that rope and cut it to the size however long you want your handle. And then you just want to take a lighter and melt the ends and the frayed parts on the middle of it. Um, that really gives it a nice, rustic, pretty look. So definitely, definitely make sure not to skip that step. Somehow my footage of the, the rest of this got deleted, but um, when you're making the piece for the bottom, you'll need three wooden dowels, one measuring the whole entire length of it, and then you'll need two shorter ones to make the letter N is the best way I could figure out how to get the dowels on there. I'll show you at the end a really short clip of it, but um, yeah, just figure out the best way you can to make a bottom on that. And you're just going to want to do the same thing, hot glue an E6000 on both the dowels and the rope. And let that sit, and it makes such a pretty lantern. Look at this outside. I mean, how bright and beautiful is that? 
I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Please like and subscribe for more videos. I post videos every week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.